Hey Leo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Leo. So if you're Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, not known, or if you have a stellium in Leo, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading. So it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. And lastly, do consider subscribing to my channel. That way it will help me to tap into your energy for future readings. In this reading, we are going to take a look into the person you are dealing with, their energy, their emotions, their possible actions, and yours. Okay, so it is going to be you and them reading. Energy is fluid, so the roles can get reversed. All right. Thank you. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Justice. Bottom of the deck is Empress here with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Right. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah. This person is really, really heartbroken right now. They are in a lot of pain. They are still carrying that pain from the past energy. Whatever happened between the both of you caused this person to be in a lot of pain. You could be dealing with a Pisces, a Libra or a Libra or a Taurus. Okay. So this person is still carrying the pain between about what happened between the both of you. Whatever happened, this pain is still there. This person hasn't managed to get over it. And that is why this high priestess is here because they are very, very silent because they are very, they are trying to process whatever this pain is, whatever this pain they feel, they are trying to process it. They also miss the happiness they have between the both of you. Okay. Now, this person is feeling very, very left out in the cold. All right. They could feel like they have left you in the cold too. Like they abandoned you. This is the kind of feeling they get. In their actions, they want to take action. They want to take a new beginning, make a move towards you and make a new beginning happen between the both of you. They want justice here. Justice is what is in their mind. And with the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles here, this person wants a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles is the cornerstone to the Ten of Pentacles. So they are looking for a new beginning. With justice here, this person wants to bring balance to the situation back. The five of pentacles, they are very, very heartbroken about what happened between the both of you. They are missing you and the more pain in pain they are in, the more they are missing your energy. They could also be trying to tap into their intuition and try to understand why this, whatever happened between the both of you, why it happened. Okay. All right. Let's see your energy now. 
this is the person you are dealing with their energy let's see your energy The reason this person is feeling very heartbroken because you decided to move on from them and focus on yourself. Give yourself the love that you needed. This person could have mistreated you. They could have been the one who ghosted you or left out in the cold or didn't treat you well. And that is why you decided to focus on yourself. Focus on giving love to yourself. Self-love. That's what it, you were all about. And that is what made this person very heartbroken because instead of giving giving and giving to them you decided to give to yourself okay the queen of pentacles tried coming out in reverse here so you don't feel like giving to this connection anymore you have definitely detached yourself from this connection The Queen of Pentacles is a very nurturing, caring energy. So instead of giving to them, giving this nurture and care to them, right now you're all about giving this nurture and care to yourself. That is what you care about right now. And that is what you are doing. You could be feeling very divinely guided right now. Divinely, you could be receiving divine help from angels, your ancestors, to help you heal yourself. Because you are right now all about taking your care of your, yourself, giving yourself the respect that this person didn't give you. Bottom of the deck is the Fool with the queen of cups okay with the world here you could be feeling like you are all right with this connection ending you are all right with this cycle ending you could be feeling very detached from this person right now you could have purposely detached yourself from this person you are trying to heal yourself. You are trying to move to calmer waters. For your actions, you are not in the mood to take that much of an action. You could also be anticipating that this person is going to offer you something. And when they offer you something, that is the time when you are going to respond. But whatever healing is necessary, you are focusing on that. And the Four of Swords did try to come out reverse. So your healing is done. You have done healing yourself. You are focused on yourself. Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. You have healed yourself. You have managed to move to calmer waters. When this person comes in, if they come in with another offer, you might be willing to give them a chance. If this person is willing to work on this connection, if this person is willing to bring in balance into this connection, only then you are going to work on this connection. You might, both of you might be willing to work you might be willing to work with this person to move to calmer waters to let go of whatever happened in the past and begin a new cycle provided whatever happened in the past is really really worked upon because you have changed there's definitely a feeling of you focusing on yourself and you changing you might also think that this was a just toxic karmic cycle that ended between the both of you and you were ready for another chance with them or you could be simply thinking that it is okay if this connection is over. But this, I get this feeling with the fool here. I get this feeling that you have left everything to the universe and you are very, very relaxed right now. With the queen of cups, you could have also learned how to love yourself. There's definitely a self-love, a message of self-love here. A lesson on self-love you have learned. Okay. Let's see the cards then.
Ooh, the Ten of Cups. The world. Yeah, an ending happened between the both of you. Whatever ended between the both of you, it was it give gave this person a lot of happiness, and that is why they are heartbroken. They're very very heartbroken. Uh, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Leo, another Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, or Aquarius. Six of Swords. Eight of Cups. Yeah, this person is silent. They are silent because the Six of, six of Cups, the Eight of Cups are both about moving towards something karma moving towards karma waters moving to the eight of cups is about moving towards the nine of cups the wish fulfillment the reason this person is very very the person hasn't taken any action or they are silent is because they're trying to heal themselves they're trying to protect themselves they are looking for healing they are trying to move away from this eight of cups whatever in the past there was this person is willing to walk away from all of that and move towards the ninth cup move towards your mutual happiness that is what this person is looking for so definitely this this person is trying to heal themselves there's this energy of this person really working hard on healing themselves okay the wheel of fortune ten of swords yeah the pain is very evident this person uh whatever happened between the both of you after you left this person decided sorry this person felt very very broken felt like your warm energy is gone because you are this queen of pentacles energy a queen of pentacles is a very warm nurturing energy so the moment you decide you let this person go you cut them off that's when they started feeling the pain and they are really trying hard to walk on this wheel of fortune that is the true intention here they want to not feel this ten of swords five of pentacles energy the ten of swords and five of pentacles is a very negative kind of energy here this person is in a negative mindset they could be overthinking they could be a little depressed too but they are in a lot of pain they feel very stabbed, very hurt, very wounded. But yeah, this person is looking for another opportunity with you. And hence the Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let's look at the action then. Three of Wands. Strength. Yeah, they are working on gaining the strength. They want to offer you this Ace of Pentacles. They want a new beginning with you. And that is why they are working on the strength. They are trying to find a good opportunity to approach you. They could also be waiting for some sort of outcome. Something they have invested. You know, like buying a house. I got buying a house. Okay, or buy, giving you some gift here. This person could be trying to buy something for you and then come towards you as a peace offering. They will give you a gift and tell you that they want to start, start fresh. Because the Ace of Pentacles is a solid new beginning. So this person could be thinking of gifting you something and that way they would start this connection again. They would ask a new opportunity from you. The outcome is the justice. Five of Wands. Yeah. Ace of Swords. This person really, really wants to bring the clarity towards you. They do not want any more drama. They want to cut out whatever drama was there between the both of you. And they want a new beginning. And this new beginning is going to be solid. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. This is not the Ace of Wands kind of energy. So this is going to be a stable beginning. This person is trying to bring the justice. The justice Ace of Swords is speaking the truth. 
This person is going to talk about how they feel, why they were silent. They are going to tell you why they are silent because of this three of swords, ten of cups, the world energy. They were feeling like this three of swords, ten of swords. They were in a lot of pain. They are could be still in a lot of pain and they haven't managed to process this entire pain. And that is why they have been quiet. But they are going to tell you why they have been quiet. They are going to tell you the truth. The Empress, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, see the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. Two of Cups. And the Tower. They want to let go of whatever happened in the past. They really want to. They want to start building again. Also, this tower happening, the ending happened between the both of you is what made this person realize that they really, really want you. They want this two of cups, this ten of pentacles kind of connection with you. They might also be looking at you like this empress, like you are this empress kind of energy. That is how they see you. But the two of cups, ten of pentacles, the empress, this person is with the ace of pentacles this person is really really looking for a new beginning they are very very hopeful about having a new beginning with you because they feel a very strong connection with you ace of cups ace of wands yeah there was a lot of passion in the past between the both of you lot of passion lot of happiness four of pentacles but because there was an ending between the both of you, because this person didn't reciprocate whatever you were giving, you decided to focus on yourself. You gave yourself the love. You followed your own passion, Ace of Wands, Four of Pentacles. This person wasn't giving to you in the past and you were like, okay, if you are not going to give to me, I will have to give to myself and I am done giving to you. You stopped giving, giving and giving to this person. You decided to hold back your energy and take all of that energy, that love and focus on yourself. And that is what made this person very, very heartbroken. Bottom of the deck is 10 of pentacles here. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you are uh, starting new things in your life. You're focusing on slowly learning to give to yourself, learning to respect yourself first. There's definitely a lesson you have learned when it comes to giving to yourself first, taking care of yourself first. It might have been a very, very slow lesson for you, but you have learned it and that is what you are implementing right now. Ooh, the devil. Yeah, you have worked on yourself. Whatever happened in the past between the both of you, whatever toxicity you had, toxic, yeah, see as I cut the deck, here's death. Hopefully you can see it, it's a teeny tiny deck. You let yourself transform. You let this connection transform you. You let this person transform you. And you let go of this devil energy and the death happened. You transformed yourself and now you are this queen of pentacles energy. Someone who knows to respect themselves. I definitely feel this person really really hurt and disrespected you. And you slowly learned to come out of this devil energy and be this queen of pentacles. The high priestess. Seven of pentacles. definitely ready to break the silence between the both of you whatever silence is there you are ready to break it you are willing to break it 
you are thinking about breaking it more like you are thinking about this connection you are thinking about this connection ending you could simply be thinking whether you should let go of this connection once and for all or should be giving to this connection anymore that is what you are thinking about really but you are willing to talk to this person i definitely get that feeling that you can at least even if this connection has ended you are ready to give this person a closure and give yourself a closure too the lovers and the seven of cups yeah you are you you want to make a choice you don't want to be in your head you have been in your head in the past for a long time regarding what you should do in this connection but you made a choice of choosing yourself also in the past of this person confused the heck out of you you are not going to let this person confuse you anymore you are done with all the confusion you do feel a connection with this person definitely you could be dealing with a capricorn or gemini here an aries aquarius okay or a leo another leo if i hadn't already mentioned the signs but yeah you are not going to let this person confuse you anymore if this person tries coming in with the same past sneaky energy and confusion then you are going to choose yourself you're not going to choose them anymore or their confusing ass energy okay let's look at the outcome the chariot Ooh. The chariot talks about movement. The six of swords talks about movement. Also, yeah, you are very, very divinely guided right now. Two of wands. You might have a lot of options opening up for you. You are being very guided right now. You are moving to calmer waters. You have decided to focus on yourself. divine you are divinely guided and protected right now and therefore a lot of options are opening up for you you have really transformed yourself and because you have transformed yourself new doors are opening for you new happiness new abundance new fulfillment is coming towards you justice okay too many cards fell let's see nine of cups yeah focusing on balancing yourself focusing on your wish fulfillment whatever makes you happy giving yourself lo that love that's what you're focusing also five of pentacles nine of wands fell here so whoever is going to bring this five of pentacles energy towards you you are going to defend yourself you have learned to defend yourself and definitely get that energy in the past you might not have but you have learned to take care of yourself right now and you are going to focus on that you have become very very stronger here all right okay well that's your reading leo i hope you find the clarity you have been looking for I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care guys. Bye-bye.